Stick around, the show's about to begin. You got that right. <laughs> <laughs> Dr. Jefferson is in. Your jacket, sir. Certainly. Here we go. Grease stains, no problem. Grass stains, no problem. <laughs> this stain, little problem. <laughs> my wingtips? My, my, my jacket. It, it, it's smoking. Oh. oh, well, I guess you could say you have a smoking jacket. <laughs> hey, come on. My jacket's ruined. I demand to know what you put in that bottle. Wait a minute. I know what you're thinking. I'm telling you, that's not my fluid in that bottle. Tell them about it, Weave. Oh, George, I wouldn't want to talk about something that was over my head. <laughs> come on, my jacket. Look at it. Well, turn off the camera. I'll explain everything. No, I'm not turning off the camera. I'll give you one of my stores. Six is enough for me. No, no. I'm no. sorry. I'm, I'm keeping the camera rolling because I want our viewers to see you squirm when I tell them and tell you that you're on Bobbles, Bungles, and Boo-Boos. George Jefferson, <laughs> This is my all-time favorite show, Manhattan, up close? No. Oh. No, it isn't. We're putting you on. Bubbles, bundles, and boo-boos, my all-time favorite show. <laughs> <laughs> no wonder you don't want to see my wingtip. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Weezy, were you in on this? I love you for that. <laughs> and you were in on it, too, right? You're fired. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but it was fun, though, wasn't it, George? Yes, ladies and gentlemen, it was fun. And I hope you had fun, too. And, George, for being such a good sport, we've got something to give you. Do you and your wife like the theater? Oh, yeah, as long as the popcorn is fresh and the floor's not too sticky. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean the legitimate theater. Yeah, we paid to get it. Well, I'll tell you, here's what I'm gonna do for you. Now, I've got four tickets to that smash Broadway hit, The Green Valise, and we're gonna give it to you and your wife, and to Florence and her date. Ah, oh, well, in that case, three will be enough. Uh -huh. <laughs> well, that about wraps it up, ladies and gentlemen. This is Stan Froman saying good night from Bobbles, Bungles, and Boo Boo. <laughs> this is not my work. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Yeah. Froman was right. That play is excellent. Yeah, but you know, I can't figure out what was that valise supposed to symbolize anyway? I have a theory. I think it represented a little suitcase. Those playwrights. <laughs> <laughs> oh, George, we've been robbed! <laughs> well, let's try to be calm. Let's sit down and discuss what to do about this. There's nothing to sit on. Well, we can be calm standing up. Oh. Well, who in the world would have done something like this? Who knew we were gone? Nobody except those people from that TV show that gave us those tickets to go to the theater. Wait a minute. I bet you that's who did it. Oh, George, don't be ridiculous. They can't be crooks. A TV show? <laughs> well, how you know they're from a TV show? Where'd you meet them anyway? Some people approached me in the supermarket. The supermarket always, you got sucked in. <laughs> now, wait a minute, Mr. Jefferson. You're pressuring her. You're trying to make her story sound dumb. Now, I'm sure Miss Jefferson has a very good explanation. Well, yeah. Surely somebody showed you some identification. Well, no, nobody <laughs> did. Now, may I ask what made you think Mr. Froman was a TV show host? He had such nice teeth. <laughs> Where are you going? Your defense is gonna rest. <laughs> Wake me when you have a better alibi. <laughs> oh, George, I still say it couldn't be. How could they have gotten all of that furniture past Ralph? Oh, no, I just remembered. I told him to go along with whatever those TV people said. I don't believe this. We get ripped off and I got to tip Ralph for it. Oh. <laughs> Just calm down. I'll call this Buggles and Boo Boo show and straighten this whole thing out because I know it wasn't them. Hello? Uh, this is Louise Jefferson. I thought you were going to bed. I was, but I ran into a problem. What? I ain't got no bed. <laughs> what? Well, look, don't get no ideas about sleeping with us. <laughs> don't worry. You ain't got no bed either. <laughs>